Hey, I know some meteorologists aren't really all about the groundhog, and no, there's no science behind it, but there is history behind where we get Groundhog Day. The Pennsylvania Dutch actually selected the groundhog for winter prediction. February 2nd marks the midpoint between the winter solstice and the vernal equinox. So this is the midpoint here. 1886, the Punxsutawney Groundhog Club was formed, and every year on February 2nd, and glob glob gobbler's knob. <laughs> Pennsylvania. I woo. got it. You got it, everyone. I Lover's it. knob sounds fun, though. Yeah, it does. Cool. <laughs> That's probably what they're saying now after the party this morning. Anyway, Bill pops out and gives us the prediction. Happy Friday, everyone. So this year, Bill predicts in early spring. He did not see his shadow. Early spring. That's exciting. His prediction is correct. 39% of the time, so not, not a very good uh, percentage there. And he sees his shadow 85% of the time, so the fact that he didn't see his shadow is pretty pretty cool, actually, this year. We always root for early spring. It feels like spring kind of looks like it with the gray, too, so we transition to some sunshine this weekend. We have some sprinkles. We have some flurries out there, too. But really, it's starting to dry up here as we have the clouds hanging tough. Temperatures in the 40s, nevertheless, who are in the 30s, and it feels nice out there this morning even. We were around 40 degrees. It felt good like a spring morning. 2.15 this afternoon. Here's an idea of what to expect outside of 128 back towards 495. And up in the Worcester Hills, there's a chance for some flurries to mix in with these light showers or sprinkles. Then we transition to some more potent showers. A wintry mix still. Watch out for perhaps some scattered coatings as temperatures in some communities dip to near freezing later this evening. Coatings on grassy areas. Roads should be just fine. Overnight tonight, we get a wind shift and we have some ocean effect flurries or even snow showers across the South Shore, Cape and Islands. And those will really, really end by the afternoon. But the clouds are going to really be stubborn from Plymouth to Hyannis to Nantucket for most of tonight and tomorrow. Overnight lows tonight in the 20s and 30s, just below freezing, could be some new icy spots. Wind chill values, though, tomorrow morning as the wind picks up from the north between 20 and 30 miles an hour. It's going to feel like 20 degrees tomorrow morning as you take the dog out for a walk. So my pick of the weekend, just comparing the two days, Saturday, more clouds, flurries south and east, and it's going to be blustery. Sunday's the pick of the weekend, obviously, with plenty of sunshine and 38 degrees and check out the 10 day forecast. Temperatures get cooler, so it kind of looks like winter in that sense, although we have more sunshine on the way for Saturday, Sunday into much of next week.